Gideon and his 300 men. Once in ancient Israel, the people had turned away from God, and as a consequence, the Midianites, along with other neighboring tribes, oppressed them. In their time of suffering, the Israelites cried out to God for help. God chose Gideon, a young man from the tribe of Manasseh, to lead the Israelites to victory against the Midianites. Gideon was initially unsure of his abilities, but God assured him that he would be with him. To test God's guidance, Gideon placed a fleece of wool on the ground, asking God to make it wet with dew while keeping the ground dry around it. God granted this sign. Gideon, seeking further confirmation, reversed the request, and again, God honored his plea. With divine assurance, Gideon gathered an army of 32,000 men to confront the Midianites. However, God had a different plan. He instructed Gideon to reduce his army, saying that Israel had too many soldiers, so their victory would not be credited to human strength, but to God's power. Gideon followed God's instructions and eventually narrowed his army down to just 300 men. Gideon's 300 were given torches, empty jars, and trumpets. They divided into three groups and approached the Midianite camp in the dead of night. At Gideon's signal, they simultaneously smashed their jars, revealing the lit torches, and blew their trumpets, creating a cacophonous noise. Confused and startled, the Midianites believed they were surrounded by a massive army and turned on each other in panic. The Midianite army fled in disarray, and Gideon and his 300 men pursued them, securing a decisive victory. This remarkable event showed that with faith and obedience, even a small and seemingly powerless group could overcome overwhelming odds with the help of God. Gideon's story became a symbol of faith and courage in the face of adversity in biblical history.